the first part i am going to create a, our room database or you can say set up our room database so i am going to create a new package naming room and in this data uh, package i am going to create a new kotlin class or you can say asset class news database so it is a class i am going to make this abstract extend this with room database annotated with database we have entities and uh, our entities is article in our case uh, and version number is one i'm going to create a companion object in this companion object i am going to create get instance naming function which will accept a context return our news database instance or reference so it will return room database builder pass context in it and our news database class sorry class dot java and the name so just calling this name and lastly build this all right so the next step is basically create our news DAO which is an interface annotated with DAO <coughs> so we have basically two models so the first model which is article we are going to actually use this article and so to the user so the second one which is working under the hood in order to judge the remote mediator which page number he want to fetch all right so the model we are going to create is remote keys so i am going to create a remote keys in this room package so new cotton class file and article article remote keys mm, yeah article remote keys this is a class and it is an a data class all right so it will contain id so this id is exactly the same id which is uh, taken or which the article have so so in our article so i'm going to show you the article so here is response this is article you can say you can see over here our article is having title is a primary key means this is a this is our primary key or you can say the id uh, basically by using this id we can store these articles in our room database okay so this is a string type so that is why we are going to make our ids string type not integer type okay so remember this and the second one is previous key so previous so the previous is a type of int and that's it so the next one is next which is a which is of type nullable so just reformat it make this an entity primary key auto generate false because we don't want to auto generate this thing by uh, with the room database we actually provide this id to it all right so yeah this is our article remote key this is our articles create our DAO things so first one is suspend function insert articles and it is a list of articles which is coming from the uh, network response reformat it all right so this is for insertion and uh, this is for our paging paging source so basically we first take our data cache our data then we actually create a paging source by using a query so this is the paging source part or you can say by using this query we actually create a paging source select all from from articles 
that's it so make sure don't use suspend before this function because the when you use suspend function it will throw you and compile time error and uh, i think the error which which is going to appear is something cannot convert cursor type to paging source type yeah this is so get all articles and here you use paging source so the key is int and the value is what articles that's it this is for query and <clears throat> when we refresh our page we actually clear our room database and then after we actually put the new data which is right coming from the network and we take the data inside the data after the deletion all right so now we are going to make a query or you can say by using query we are going to delete so delete from articles and it will erase all the entity which is present in the article table suspend function delete all articles and yeah that's it so this logic is basically used for our article purpose now the second one which is for our remote keys because we are actually going to you we are going to insert our remote keys in this room database so we actually use this too so which is contain the list of remote keys so article remote sorry article remote key okay so this is for insertion actually we forgot to give the on conflict strategy so this one replace it and the same thing is for our article part so yeah and the second one is for query so select all from article remote key where where the id is equals to the id which we are going to pass so suspend function get all remote key pass id which is of type string and it will return me a article remote key so that's it for the uh, getting part now we actually when we refresh we want to delete this so d e l e t delete and uh, i think we are completed our dao part okay so just written in the new database create a abstract and it will return us news dao so yeah we we are successfully create our news dao we are successfully created our news database but we forgot one thing and uh, to add our remote keys in it so article remote key class and that's it this is all for our room database okay so we are going to recapitulate everything so we have articles so this is our entity this is a thing this is a main data which we want to cache in order to show to the user so basically we are going to show this data to the user all right so <clears throat> except this we actually create a article remote key so this remote key is basically generate for each articles so the each article having its remote key and by using this remote keys we actually know which page we want to fetch from the network so yeah so we build this remote key <clears throat> this is our database part this is our dao so and this is for our articles this is for our remote keys yeah in the next part we actually going to set up our remote mediators